Oh, I'm excited. We're talking to Mark Latham right now, the leader of One Nation in New South Wales. And according to uh, some leaked industry polling, the vote is double from where it was at the last election. If that holds up, mate, you'll be joined by at least maybe two more in that upper house. No preference whisperer help, though. No, we don't believe in that sort of nonsense. We just stand in our own right. And one thing about One Nation in New South Wales, um, uh, the Liberal, Labor, National Party, Green Coalition is full on woke. Uh, we stand against that, uh, particularly in the classroom practice to get back to basics and decent energy policy to keep the lights on. So people know they vote for us, Paul. You, you, you get some common sense policies and a lot of fight to go with it. Bloody oath. And remember, no matter how you vote downstairs, upstairs, wherever you are in the state, it all helps out Mark Latham. All right. Now, let's uh, talk here about uh, these Western Sydney mayors. I love that they are bucking the trend of how it's supposed to work. Labor at the federal level, Labor at the state level, kiss the ring, you get to move your way up. But they're saying, no, we don't want these ISIS brides. And, we're, and if the Prime Minister won't come to us, we'll go to he, him because he's going to have a fundraiser at Western Sydney and these mayors are going to pay th uh, 1500 bucks to get in the room so they confront him. Good on him. Well, there should have been consultation in the first place. It shouldn't come to having to gate crash or pay $1,500 to get to an Albanese fundraiser. There should have been consultation because these ISIS brides won't be living in Marrickville. Yes. Or they won't be living in, in the Prime Minister's neighbourhood. Uh, this is a long-running problem. In 2015, when the Syrian refugees um, uh, came out here under Abbott and also Mike Baird, uh, they said, oh, you know, they'll be out there in Albury and Orange and Tamworth and these places. 90% of them were dumped in Fairfield. So Western Sydney, particularly Fairfield, knows that the locational policy for refugee settlement is always intensely located in their backyard with lack of services. Now, the ISIS brides, of course, are many, many more, more times challenging because uh, these are the, the, the people that those refugees were trying to get away from. And uh, there's no guarantee. There can be no 100% guarantee on the security front. So for the Fairfield local government area, it's, it's very upsetting. It's a nightmare. And Albanese should have been talking to the local representatives before anything happened. You've got Chris Bowen there uh, representing the district, but he's completely useless on this front. So... I suppose good on the mayors for taking the action, but it shouldn't have been necessary in the first place. Agree completely. 